Hey you guys, welcome to the video. I hope you all are staying happy and healthy wherever you guys are watching from. Today we have a really fun video that I'm super excited to be working on. So I just recently did a video where I was reviewing my subscribers festival outfits, which was so much fun. You guys sent in awesome pictures and are all so creative and talented. It was so much fun going through those. So I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do another version, but I want to rank my own festival outfits and sort of just walk you through some of the outfits I wore to festivals last year and just give you like the behind the scenes decisions that were made, how I really feel about them, what I might have changed, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna be ranking my own outfits today, which I think will be really fun. I also wanna turn this into a tag or a challenge, whatever you wanna call it. So I wanna tag some fellow YouTubers in this video. Vibe with Aid, Ashley Gauthier, and Olivia Cara, I'm tagging you guys, so you are up next. I wanna see what you guys think of your own festival outfits that you've worn in the past. But you guys do not have to be tagged in this. I want everyone to participate. So if you guys are a content creator, YouTuber, and you wanna do this, please do so as well. I cannot wait to see all the videos that everyone comes up with. So with all of that being said, before we get into it, if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the post notifications bell down below so you are notified every time that I upload. Before I dive into these outfits, I do just want to say that uh, Raven Festival fashion is something I have so much fun with now. I have really built up my closet over time. I've been doing this for like five years, five plus years, so I definitely started, you know, with really, really simple outfits and over the years I've just had so much fun growing that and expressing myself. So in 2019, I did have a lot of fun and I'm very proud of the things I put together. So I'm gonna be walking you through those outfits. I'm gonna start with EDC Las Vegas 2019 because that was the first like really big festival and that was a huge deal for me. My whole channel really started around EDC. So I, I didn't really feel pressure, but like EDC is the biggest EDM festival in the United States. So you wanna go all out, you wanna plan something really cool. So I'm gonna do my outfits from day one and two. So my outfit day one, I will pop up here. One thing to say about EDC Las Vegas, it was ridiculously cold that weekend. It is not like that, it's normally so hot. So that definitely threw a wrench in the plan. And to be honest with you, I'm kicking myself now. I didn't get that many photos of my outfits. EDC is crazy and chaotic, and by the time you get there, we got pictures in the very beginning of the night, and then the rest of the night, I didn't take like any other pictures. It's all videos, and I was vlogging. So these are the only really good shots I got of my outfits at EDC, but yeah, this day one outfit is probably one of my favorites I've ever done, mainly because the hair. I fucking loved the hair I did. I ended up buying these neon yellowish green extensions from Alibaba, and I was teaching myself how to French braid. They like glowed neon at night in the lights. So that was fucking sick. I had so much fun with that. And then I wore this matching set underneath it. It was from Lime Blonde. I've worn this twice now. It's obviously one of my favorites. I've worn it twice, but it's this red snake skin print. Fits like a glove, such a comfortable fabric. I felt like so like sexy and it fit me so well. I really loved it. And then I put this I Heart Raves mesh t-shirt dress over it, which I thought gave it just kind of like a cool edgy look. And again, like, it depends on my mood and depends on the festival. Sometimes I like a little bit more coverage, so that is what that offered for me. And then I had my little marshmallow and plur pearler. So I went very like bright rainbow, which I kind of was like very into for EDC. And then I had these fun pom-pom earrings and these Lunatics face gems. So overall day one, oh, and that was the first time I ever wore my lunchbox. You can see the little strap popping out, which I love. So I really loved that. And I ended up being fucking freezing this night. We had to buy an EDC blanket. It was so cold. So I kind of screwed myself there by wearing that outfit. <laughs> Okay, day two. This is also one of my favorite outfits I've ever worn. So this was just like a killer fucking bodysuit from Freedom Ravewear. Sadly, they don't sell it anymore, but I just loved the black and white marble print and this cut on me snatched. Like I felt so snatched. It looked so good on my frame. I loved the high neck that it gave me. It was like a little high waisted on the side. So I popped on some fishnets and I just felt snatched in it. I felt like my body looked great. I felt so fucking confident. And this was the outfit I wore to my meet and greet. So I got so many pictures actually in this at the meet and greet and I just felt really good. And I tied a cute little bandana in my hair and let my hair down. So this outfit overall, I just felt 
cute, confident. I loved my little uh, glitter combat boots. So this was just like a whole, whole ass mood. And it goes to show that sometimes you really just need a killer bodysuit and you don't have to do that much more. I mean, I really didn't have that many crazy accessories. That bandana was like 99 cents. <laughs> So I really did love that outfit. Day three, it was freezing and I ended up wearing a sweatshirt and like Adidas sweatpants. So we don't have an outfit from that. <laughs> the next festival I'm gonna talk about is Ever After. Um, so this is the outfit that I wore to day one. So a couple quick notes about Ever After. I was attending this as media. So I had a media pass and I was sort of like working the event and covering it um, for my channel. So I didn't wanna do anything crazy with my outfits. like I. Not perfect. I didn't want to look professional, but I definitely didn't want to go like all out. And also, this wasn't a rave. This was a dubstep and bass um, music festival. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling. So, day one, I ended up doing, I think I ended up doing high waisted denim shorts every day, which is what I used to wear when I first started going to festivals. So, I brought that back. I just wanted to be like, Comfy, casual, cute. That's what I was going for. So, I wore my Seven Lion shirt, which I loved because. It was a mixed crowd. Elenium was a headliner one day, so I was like, I feel like I can get a, get away with wearing Seven Lions, and a lot of people complimented me on that shirt, so I was very happy about that. And I went with this sort of like purple toned look, so I had my purple sequin fanny pack on, and then again, I did purple extensions in my hair, and I did these bubble braids, which I'll show a picture of. I love doing bubble braids back when I had the super long hair. Then for day two here, um, this was what me recycling a couple of my outfits. So that bodysuit is from Black Milk. I wore that to EDC Las Vegas 2017, and I wore that to EDC New York 2016. So guys, you can always rework your outfits in different ways. Again, I wore the exact same denim shorts. I added leg wraps to this and my Seven Lions bandana. I was, I was repping him all weekend. And I kept it casual. I, I left my hair down. I'm shocked I left my hair down. I fucking never do that. Honestly, like, it gets so hot at these festivals. I feel like it, I normally go for braids or something else, so it's out of my face. But I was bold. And I went with a red lip. Who is she? <laughs> I feel like this was kind of, like, a little edgy, this outfit. Um, but it was really cute. Again, I kind of wanted to go with a lot of black because I was working as media. So I wanted to, like, subdue it a little bit. Um, and this was just like a really fun, comfortable outfit, the bodysuit, the cut of it is like super edgy and sexy, so I do love that. Oh, so the next festival was Izu. So I was actually really excited to talk about these outfits. I really went there with Izu. I have to say, out of all the festivals of the year, I think, am I? Yeah, I think I loved all three of my outfits for this festival the most. Um, I just like really put a lot of thought and effort into Izu and it's like my my hometown festival I live in New Jersey and it was fucking hot. It was so hot So I'm happy with the outfits I wore so day one. I wore this little ensemble This was all I heart raves. I was working with them. So they sent me that outfit. It was really cute So it really like stood out like look how tan I was mm. and I love my haircut I really miss the short hair now honestly the short dark hair. Oh, I'm so tan R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, but anyway, no, I loved the little um, neon top. The only thing, though, is it was not very supportive, and it was see-through. So that was the first time I ever really had to wear, like, pasties under something, and, like, there was no turning back. I had already been sent the outfit, so I was like, I'm going to make this work, but I had to be careful with, like, bouncing and stuff. But in the pictures, you can't tell. So I was having a little bit of an issue with the <laughs> with the wardrobe. Um, but I love the checker print bottoms. I just think this looks like a whole ass vibe. It was really fun. The leg wraps, um, I have to be honest, I don't love leg wraps. I know I wore them a couple times in these past photos, but they always fall down on me. So I think they look cool, but they're not the most practical. That's what I'll say. And then I had a fuck ton of candy on. I had my Elenium candy and yeah, this was a vibe. I felt sexy. I felt edgy. I, I kind of really, really loved that whole look on day one. Day two. Day two, I loved. So this was supposed to be my EDC Las Vegas day three outfit. I brought it with me and it ended up being freezing. So I ended up scrapping it and I was like, I'm gonna wear this bodysuit somewhere else. So this bodysuit is beautiful. It is this gold and black bodysuit from Sweet Electric Wear. I believe she discontinued this style, but it is 
so sexy like I can't even talk about it. it's got like a little crisscross over your boobs the cut is beautiful it's a little bit cheeky um, it was just an, a halter tie sort of top um, so I didn't have to wear a bra which was perfection and I just felt good in it I love gold I like pretty much only wear gold jewelry usually um, so I just love this whole vibe and then I wore freedom rave wear belt which was so fucking cool with these like little chains on the side and these cut out mesh rhinestone freedom rave wear fishnets which were made it even sexier because this was all about the booty like when i turned around the booty was like perfectly framed perfectly cut out she was looking juicy so that was a whole vibe i did like all gold glitter on my arms and on my chest and i just wore my like shitty black and white platform shoes that i've worn a million times but I just really thought this came together so well and I just felt sexy and pretty. Um, and then in this other photo I'll pop up, I wore my Glow FX um, I Heart Raves like little cat eye sunglasses, which I just love the frame. They're kind of like an edgy cool girl kind of glasses. And then in this I also had this like sparkly kimono on that I wore at nighttime. So that was the whole vibe. I loved that outfit. Day three. Some of you might have seen this picture a million times because I tend to make this photo my profile pictures everywhere because I felt so confident and it is probably it might be my favorite outfit to date if not in like the top three so I again I wore my red snakeskin lime blonde set which I wore to EDC day one but now you can actually see it and it's having a full-blown moment because it was hidden under the dress at EDC so I'm obsessed with how this looks. The cut of her matching sets is perfection. I just ordered another one. So 10 out of 10 recommend Lime Blonde sets. I added just like a little biker fishnet, which biker shorts are so cool and they're very in right now. And I kind of liked this cut. It felt different than just doing fishnet tights. So I thought that was fun. Um, I had just like a whole red theme. I had my red fluffy kitty ears from Brits Blossoms, which are my absolute favorite and then I had my little techno choker on and my seven lines perler and it was just simple simple cute um again I felt like my hair looked great that day I feel super tan I don't know I just look so snatched in this photo I'm so proud of this outfit <laughs> this is actually when I started realizing that I was like obsessed with wearing red so you'll see that theme come back later but that's one of my favorite outfits I've ever worn to a festival before Okay, we're now moving on to Imagine Music Festival. So, Imagine, day one, I wore this outfit. So, this one actually does have a little bit of a story. This is probably one of my outfits that I threw together the most last minute. So, there are definitely some things I would change about this, but I still think it came together well. It's probably not one of my favorites I've ever done, but I made it work. So, I was sent these chaps and these bottoms from Rolita Couture. It was my first time wearing her stuff and it was just super comfy and the fabric had this shift to it. So it kind of was like almost like a rainbow iridescent shift. It was really pretty and it was all about the booty. I mean like that was what sold it for me. I had never worn chaps like that. Like my booty looked juicy it looked good um i couldn't decide what top to wear and it was driving me fucking insane i went through so many options and again i just felt this pressure i was like what brand am i gonna wear like i feel like i should shop small i feel like i should pick a company i haven't worn before kept going back and forth couldn't decide i didn't want to spend more money and then i found this like tie-dye shirt from an etsy shop i bought years ago that I've worn this to like a million shows before. So I ended up just throwing that on and it was super cute. And what the day of, I was like, I just didn't feel super confident in it. I was like not sure about my decision. And I don't know, again, like I was like, what can I do to make this look even better? And I brought my purple wig with me. I threw that on and I feel like that tied this whole thing together. And I was really happy about that decision. I love this purple wig. So, and then again, same white bandana in my hair. Can you see the theme? So it ended up coming together, but not one of my favorites that I've ever done. That's what I'll say. Day two is another one of these that like will go down as one of my favorite things ever. So this is a matching set from Freedom Rave Wear. I just put this on the other day to film some TikToks and I forgot how much I love it. It's so bright and vibrant in person. The colors just make me so happy and the cut of this bottom is amazing. Like I love the little red, reddish orange stripes 
Um, the top is so supportive. It's like the most comfortable material. I just felt like sexy. I felt confident. Um, I wore these nude fishnets, which again, just gave a little bit more coverage. So I didn't feel like my butt was hanging out the whole time. Um, but it didn't really take away from anything else. So that's a, a pro tip, you know, wear nude fishnets rather than black, just to sort of like subdue it a little bit. And then I wore, um, my same techno necklace and then a little pearl kitty ear headband that I ordered on Etsy years ago. So again, I like to like recycle some of my accessories, but yeah, I felt fire that day. I just felt really confident in myself. Okay, so next up was day three of Imagine Music Festival. Um, and this was actually a really fun one I wanted to chat about. So I think Imagine now looking back on it in general, um, it wasn't a last minute festival, but I wasn't planning to attend it. So this was the first time I attended a festival as an influencer. So basically what that meant was in exchange for promotion and creating content for the festival beforehand and during the weekend, uh, I got a free VIP pass, which was really, really fucking cool. So it sort of like all came together pretty quickly. So I didn't have as much time to plan my outfits. And this one in particular, I was in Forever 21 just shopping and I saw this bodysuit and I was like, hmm, that would be really cute just to have in my closet for a rainy day. And I ended up really liking it. It has this cool like little crisscross cut out in the stomach area and it was a silver fabric, but when the light hits it, it's sort of like this rainbow glitter. So I thought it was really pretty. It was a sexy little cut. It was comfortable. I didn't have to wear a bra, which again is a reoccurring theme. If I don't have to wear a bra and it's just supportive and it has like nice thick straps, that's a huge win for me. Uh, again, I wore my Freedom Rave wear a little side chain belt, which I think is such a fun, like edgy accessory. Um, I'm gonna keep wearing belts. I think they're just like a fun addition to an outfit. So I'm gonna keep playing with that. I just added black fishnets to this, kept it simple. I randomly had this like super bougie, like sparkly choker necklace. I don't even know where I got it. Maybe like Forever 21 or H&M or something. And then this one, I knew I needed something else to just like add to this whole outfit. So I decided to DIY my own festival captain's hat. So I just feel like that makes this whole outfit. I put my name in big letters. I have these bright colorful pom-poms and I did a whole DIY video on this if you guys wanna see it. I will try to remember to link it up here, but I feel like that really tied it all together and I have never worn a festival hat. So I thought it was gonna be super annoying and it wasn't. I added a little strap. So anytime I was head banging or like dancing really hard, I would just hold on to the strap. Um, and then I took it off at the end of the night and just like put it down next to me when I was dancing. So it ended up not being that bad. So I actually really did like the outfit and that was on the cheap. I mean, that bodysuit was probably like 22 bucks. So pretty affordable outfit there. Okay, the last outfits I wanna talk about were from EVC Orlando. That was my last festival of the year and last one probably for a while, which uh, we're not even gonna get into that. <laughs> But being that it was EDC, I of course wanted to go all out again. It was my first time attending Orlando, so I just wanted to have fun with it. And so uh, my outfit on day one, I really don't have that many pictures of for a couple reasons. Uh, it was this outfit here. I was so excited to wear this. So I bought this outfit in June. I was actually thinking of wearing it to Electric Forest this year. So I bought it a year early and then I just like, you know, plans changed. So I was like, you know what? This would be perfect for EDC Orlando. This is like a show stopping outfit. It's this gorgeous orange sequin set. Um, it's beautiful, it's mesh. So I had to put these little gold bottoms that I got from I Heart Raves underneath it. Uh, and then I added these Demonia platform white boots it was my first time wearing any sort of platform sneakers and they were way more comfortable than I thought they were gonna be. Um, the pants also should have been hemmed. I will do that in the future because I will rewear this outfit, um, but the platform boots made it so that it was a little easier to walk in. However, day one of EDC Orlando, it ended up raining a lot. So the bottom of these pants are gross. I have them in a Ziploc bag. Uh, this outfit is also extremely glittery. It's from Elsie and Fred. I don't think I said that yet. Uh, when I put this on, glitter is all over the fucking floor. I have to vacuum immediately after. So I keep it in a Ziploc bag, but it is so cute. And unfortunately I got to wear it for about an hour and a half before I had to put my poncho on. And we also got to the festival late, like 7.30, I want to say, maybe not that late. No, it was like seven o'clock. So people really didn't get to see this outfit. I just added my same pearl cat ear headband and this was the first night. Again, we were in a rush. 
Um, things just like came together that day very quickly. I ended up visiting my friends at home base during the day and I got back to the hotel and I had to get ready so fast. So I know this is not a big deal, but this is the first time I ever wore like super natural makeup. I didn't wear any false lashes. Like I kind of threw everything together. So for me, this was a pretty casual like makeup and hair look. I didn't do much. Uh, so that's sort of like the behind the scenes of how this whole outfit came together. This next one, probably again, I think this is in my top three with those other two that I mentioned. I think I got the most compliments on this festival outfit than I've ever gotten about one before. I think it's because it's so different for me and I just went for, I went for a look, I went for a theme. I wanted to be like sporty and cute and I rocked a long ass blonde wig which was beautiful. I felt like a different person this day, honestly. I just felt like so confident, so sexy, and like I'm in pants, which is like kind of crazy, but there's just something about this. The whole outfit is from Festi Bestie. I bought it at Imagine Music Festival um, because they had a booth there, and I was like, this is the fucking coolest thing ever. I'm buying this. So it's these joggers. They sort of, it's sort of like a whole like raceway kind of theme. Um, so yeah, it's joggers. Uh, it was a little hot during the day, but honestly, I was super comfortable by the time it got to the nighttime. I had the matching little top with the checkerboard print and it had like little accents of neon green and pink so then I bought this little baseball hat from Sheen for five dollars and I don't know I mean I think the whole thing just came together I think the blonde wig was just like the fucking cherry on top which took this to the next level um, a bunch of people did not recognize me that day which was really fucking funny I bumped into some of my friends and they were like who the fuck? What? Like, it was really funny. People didn't recognize me. Um, and then I put my little same Dolls Kill barbed wire choker necklace on. And I did really cute glitter freckle makeup. I just was vibing with this whole look. I felt so pretty. I loved my makeup that day. And last but certainly not least uh, was this little red number. I love this outfit. This was a bodysuit from Rave with Mi Gente. I think this was my first time wearing her collection before but i mean i saw this on her site i'm personally a fan of like the pleather look where it kind of looks like leather it's a little shiny uh, i just think it's very sexy looking material and again i just found that i really liked red on me so i wanted to go with red versus black and this bodysuit just framed me so well um it had a little buckle detailing which i know i said i don't like buckles but this was a subtle buckle and I don't know, it looks like I have abs in this photo, so I was in good shape at this point. <laughs> Quarantine has not been treating me well, let me just say that. Uh, and again, re-wearing accessories, you guys. You know, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I re-wore my red kitty ears from Brits Blossoms. Those are my favorite ones. The same barbed wire choker necklace. Uh, my seven lions pearler. So uh, yeah, he was playing that day. That's why I was wearing that. And then I actually threw on my um, glitter rhinestone tights from Freedom Wavewear, but these were not the cutout ones. These were just regular um, fishnets. They just had uh, rhinestones all over them. The only thing I will say about this bodysuit is the fit wasn't the best on me. I have a shorter torso and I'm bigger on top and I felt like the top was a little small for me. So I, that's the only thing I would change, but you can't tell in any photos and I felt pretty amazing in this outfit. So yeah, I mean, I really didn't do much. There's not too too many accessories here. I also wore my lunchbox with that, um, but I love the color red, so I will be playing more with that in the future. Hi you guys, future Emma here. As if this video wasn't long enough already, I realized I never even ranked the outfits, which is the name of this video. So here to end this all off, I just spent way too long of time going through all of these trying to rank them but I, I have a list and this is the order that I would rank all of these outfits that I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna go bottom to top and we're gonna count it back. So I'm just gonna put all three of my ever after outfits at the bottom. Okay. Ew, what is that? <laughs> is that a cookie? Uh -huh. Oh, jealous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all three of my Ever After outfits at the bottom of the list. Even though they were super cute and I love them. This is like picking my favorite kids. I love them, but I wasn't really thinking about going like all out and being like fashion forward. I was thinking like comfy and cute because I was working the festival. So, you know, and I recycled a lot of items. So those three are at like the bottom of the barrel. Uh, 
So that's number 12. Number 11, I'm gonna put my Imagine Music Festival, I'll show it here, my day one outfit, because again, I feel like I really just threw that together and there were definitely some things I would have changed about it and I didn't feel like the most confident ever. Number 10, number 10 I have my Imagine Music Festival day three outfit only because I really love how it all came together. I think it was a vibe. I loved the hat, but it was just like a Forever 21 bodysuit. So I think I pulled it off, but it wasn't like the best thing I've ever done. Number nine, I have my EDC Las Vegas day one outfit. I don't know, again, like out of all of these, it wasn't my absolute favorite. So I have it there. Right above it, number eight, I have my EDC Orlando day three, my red vortex bodysuit from Rave With Me Hente. I mean, this was a whole vibe. I really liked it, but I don't know. I kind of wish I changed the tights up a little bit or maybe I had added like different accessories. I don't know. It was cute, but again, I'm gonna put that at number eight. Number seven, right above it, I'm gonna put my EDC Las Vegas day two, my Freedom Rave Wear marble bodysuit. I just, Love it. I love that bodysuit. That was the day of my meetup. This outfit like reminds me of good memories. Yeah, I didn't go crazy like with any of the accessories here, so that's why it's a little bit lower, but I loved the staple piece the most. Number six, I have my EDC Orlando day one, my matching Elsie and Friend little sequin set. Honestly, this set like on its own is so killer and like incredible and I am going to wear this again to a festival, mark my words. Um, it ended up raining this whole day. So I have it there. I also like didn't really do my makeup. I didn't really do anything with my hair. So I feel like I could have accessorized that better, but I was in a rush that day. Number five, my top five. I am gonna go with my Electric Zoo day one my I Heart Raves outfit. I just think this came out so fucking cute. I love the checkerboard bottoms, the neon green pop of color, like I look with the tan. I don't know, I feel badass. I felt badass in this outfit. I like that one. You can tell I was feeling myself. <laughs> my number four is my Freedom Rave Wear matching set that I wore to Imagine Music Festival day two. Uh, this is my favorite set I own from Freedom Rave Wear. The colors are even more vibrant in person. I love it. I felt amazing in that. Okay, number three, my Izu Day 2 Sweet Electric Wear bodysuit outfit. I just like felt myself. I felt so snatched. This color is everything, the tights are everything. I felt like juicy in this. I just was feeling this whole fucking outfit. I felt super sexy in that, like top three for sure. Number two, can you guys guess? Number two, I'm gonna go with my EDC Orlando Day 2 Festy Bestie outfit. Again, I just, I loved the blonde wig. It's probably my favorite thing I've ever done. And it just was so different for me. Like I never thought I'd wear pants and go for like a sporty kind of outfit, but I felt like a different person. And this is like the epitome to me of like having fun and like stepping outside of your comfort zone and it paid off. So I'm so happy. And number one, I, I have to go with my Electric Zoo Day 3, my red snakeskin outfit from Lime Blonde. Again, like I just love the whole red look on me. I just feel like confident in that color. I love the biker shorts. I love the Brits Blossom ears. Um, and I just, I never felt more comfortable in an outfit, never had more fun. And it just like, yeah, it came together. So I'm super, super proud of that outfit. So anyway, you guys, there is my top 12 outfits uh, ranked in order. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And honestly, you guys can chime in. Let me know if you think my order was accurate. Let me know what you thought about my outfits. And again, I'm tagging um, Vibe With Aid, Ashley Gothier, and Olivia Cara. But of course, please participate in the tag. I wanna see your videos. You guys can also follow me on social media at Emma Capotis on pretty much everything. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Go check out my TikTok. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna still be working on some Raven Festival fashion videos. I have a lot of things in my closet, a lot of things I wanna have fun with in the absence of festivals, so there will be no shortage of videos there. Uh, but again, if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and come back and watch some more videos. Check out my podcast, Rave Culture Cast. It comes out every Wednesday. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.